It's hard not to jump on the Hockeyville bandwagon now that West Kelowna has made the cut. It's down to five, and if the numbers are any indication, West Kelowna's got a pretty good chance of scoring. In the final five round, West Kelowna came in at more than one million votes, a close second to Sterling, Ontario. Andrew Deans knows a thing or two about Hockeyville. He helped bring it to Terrace a few years ago. He says the West Kelowna bid has brought the community together. And, um, I really felt a, a bit of a distance between some people in the town, but I'd met a lot of great people and thought, you know, these people need to come together over one, you know, great common thing. And thankfully, I had a bit of uh, experience with Hockeyville and could see what it did for a town, and it's doing just that right now. He says the window dressing is over and all that matters are the votes. As many times as you want. Leading the way is Lisa Hose. She votes up to 400 times a day for a total of... 10,000. And West Kelowna is bringing in the big guns. Uh, Alex Burles, uh, Andrew Ebbett of the Vancouver Canucks, of course the Vancouver Canucks, Christy Clark. Um, some PGA players have uh, Bob Tway, who's a major champion. He won the 1986 uh, PGA Championship. Making the final five has already guaranteed West Kelowna 25 grand in arena upgrades. The grand prize is 100,000. And hosting an NHL preseason game, the winner will be announced March 31st on Hockey Night in Canada. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.